Wonderful and blessed day to all our mighty brothers and sisters in Christ all around the world to the Rhapsody of Realities by Pastor Chris Ayakilome. Today, for the 29th of November, you are going to learn how to make your faith work effectively in this article titled, Faith is of the Heart. Blessed be God. The opening scripture is from 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 13, and it writes, We, having the same spirit of faith according as it is written, I believed, and therefore have I spoken. We also believe, and therefore speak. There are those who complain, I thought this faith thing works. I believe in the word for my health. Why then isn't it working? For such people, it could be that they've only mentally assented to the word. That is not what works. True faith is of the heart. The Apostle Paul in Romans chapter 1 verse 16 tells us that the gospel of Jesus Christ is the power of God that works. In other words, it brings or causes salvation for everyone who believes. The one who doesn't believe it cannot have the benefit of it. And believing is of the heart and not the head. And we see this in Romans chapter 10 verses 8 to 10. It is your spirit that makes contact with God. Faith is not a response of the brain or the mind. It is not some kind of magic or a formula. No, faith is the response of the human spirit to the word of God. In Luke chapter 6 verses 6 to 10, for example, when Jesus encountered a man with a withered arm while teaching in a synagogue, he instructed the man to stretch out his hand, which he did, and his hand was restored. Glory to God! There is no way the man would have received a miracle if he had tried to rationalize the master's instruction in his head, but he responded with his spirit to the word. The man heard Jesus in his spirit and acted from his spirit. It reminds of a similar account in Mark chapter 2 when the Lord Jesus healed a man sick of the palsy. He said to the man, Arise and take up thy bed and go thy way into thine house. You can read this in Mark chapter 2 verse 11. The heated two paralyzed men stood up and walked away, offering praises to God. Hallelujah! The man couldn't have risen unless he responded from his spirit. You see, his spirit was not crippled. As the ailment or infirmity resided in his body, so how could a man with that condition have risen? The answer is simple. When he heard the words of the master, he acted from his spirit and it produced results. Once you can believe the word with your heart and voice it from your mouth, it will produce results. Hallelujah! Wow, wow, wow! Praise God! These are the details you need to ensure that you're not just believing in the word mentally, but with your heart. Right now, let us partake in this confession together as you repeat after me. I respond to the word from my spirit. I am convinced by the word that I am a victor and a success in Christ Jesus. I walk in health, prosperity and victory. I am what God says I am. I have what He says I have. And I can do what He says I can do. Hallelujah. We have here some scriptures given by Pastor Chris for you to study and meditate on as you drive the word into your spirit and have it settled. From Romans chapter 10 verses 8 to 10, 1 John chapter 5 verse 4 and Hebrews chapter 11 verse 3. Glory to God. If you enjoyed this teaching by Pastor Chris Oyakilome and would like to receive daily excerpts from the Rhapsody of Realities, then you can subscribe to this channel today. Be part of what we're doing to reach to the ends of the earth with the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ by sharing this link of this audio message with your friends, family, loved ones and everyone on your social media platform. Thanks to you, someone could receive salvation, be filled with the Spirit or desire to know more about the scriptures. 
praise the Lord. And if you have not yet received salvation, we invite you to stay to the end of this video as you say the salvation prayer and God will hear you. God bless you. received salvation if you've never received Christ into your heart if you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about this is your moment say these words say oh Lord God I believe in Jesus Christ the Son of God I believe he died to save me I believe God raised him from the dead and he's alive today. I confess with my mouth Jesus Christ is Lord of my life from this day. And by my faith in him I receive eternal life into my heart into my spirit thank you lord for saving my soul i have eternal life now i'm a child of god now i am born again thank you lord if you just said that prayer along with pastor chris congratulations welcome to the family of god wonderful and blessed day to all our mighty brothers and sisters in Christ all around the world to the Rhapsody of Realities by Pastor Chris Ayakilome. Today, for the 29th of November, you are going to learn how to make your faith work effectively.